Welcome to your activation, Taurus. How exciting. Okay, so um, we are using for this activation Work Your Light Oracle. And I've pulled out the activation cards of this deck so that we can use those. Okay, and um, Sacred Spirit Reading Cards is what we will be using first to look at what this activation is about. Maybe why you need it even. Um, the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, for confirmation. So make sure that you stay till the end here, Taurus, because that's when we'll be doing this activation. Okay, let me just give these a little bit of a shuffle. I'm getting myself all excited and I'm like, then I'm like, what am I even doing here? Okay, so, right, let's get going here, Taurus. First, wow. Okay, first up we have emotional challenges. Okay, resolve the issue. You see... Here, Taurus, do you know what I feel like here? Is that um, for some of you, it's as though you kind of like, you mask your emotions. You you mask your tears. You know, it's like, and, and sort of like, um, it's as though if you're crying, it's kind of like, oh no, but it's okay because here's this, um, I'm crying gold, <laughs> like, you know, there's that side of it, but then, as I say that, Taurus, it's almost, I like, there's also this other aspect of this, of, um, your tears are golden, they're precious, like, um, because they're a release, and, um, your tears are worth their weight in gold, I feel like, this could very well be whatever has happened for you, Taurus, whatever trauma you have been through, that um, how do I explain this? It's like you're such a golden soul that those things that have maybe been done to you or happened to you, boy, oh boy, man. It's not, not okay, not okay by any stretch of means, like, it's, it's kind of like someone coming in and trying to melt gold, like, it's, it's almost as though, Taurus, someone's really tried to bring you down, and the fact of the matter is that they don't realise that you're gold, and you cannot be destroyed. Two cards here. Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning around now. Things are on the up and up pair, up and up. And we have judgment. Yes. See, this is you releasing your soul. This is you surrendering and just being like, you know like having this renewal type of thing and whatever was done to you Taurus man I tell you what people get their own back yeah people get their own back what they dish out comes back to them tenfold um so yeah I feel like things are turning for you Taurus they are because look here Here's the T, right? <laughs> Here's the T for Taurus. And it's almost right on top of the world. So things are turning. This is really good. Meditation. Improvements require persistence. Yep. So make sure you're tapping in, Taurus. Make sure you're tapping in and, and doing the surrendering here. I feel like that will really, really help you quite significantly. It's going to help you to tap in to um, your soul, your soul family that does not walk this earth, I feel. Yeah, and it's also going to help you um, transform as well. Well, interesting here. This will also help with this energy. Um, I'll start with this one before I become engrossed in the other one. Um, this one here, it's it's this feeling of like there's no other way to go. Um, feeling very um, alone, 
okay um and it's it's like she just really needs to look up and see that the door here is um you know it's got the light shining on it but because she's hunched down in in her darkness she's not seeing that light and not only that she's not seeing that there is a way out here there's the key here for the lock okay um it could be that you feel like your emotions have been locked up in a sense um but there is a way to release them and i feel as though this meditation practice will definitely help you and if you already meditate keep going okay um and f maybe find some meditations that will specifically help you to release what it is you need to release okay the two of wands here see she's got this energy of like looking there's this longing i feel like this longing and we've got the fire truck here which represents for me some sort of emergency or rescue maybe but it's like um Taurus you are the rescuer eternal union a new love is forming now I know that this has a picture of a couple on there right but I do want to say, because what I'm noticing first and foremost is the vibration here. You've got these planets here in the background, which I feel like it's this connection, this kind of intergalactic connection. And also the hand on the heart has that same vibration. Um Although, Taurus, this could be about what is in your heart here is going to emit a particular vibration here so it's sort of like I suppose when you're meditating get into the space of this feeling of being so in love you know and uh, and let that vibrate out as you meditate okay um and and just remember what that's like you know call back that feeling into your heart if it's if it's not residing in there and every time that you think about it call it back you don't even have to be meditating to do that you can just call it in and allow that to vibrate out because every time you come into this heart space and and these th these things these thoughts and these things that have caused these tears to fall when they come down into the heart they are taken care of they are loved and they are cared for and they are nurtured right so i feel like this is quite important for you to do here well okay quick as that knight of swords knight of swords okay and the magician oh knight of swords it's like it's like do you know what it's like getting a message and having to be like, quick, gotta go now. Like, this is a real, you know, and, and the Knight of Swords is that energy of real quick, let's go, you know, like, we're done with this, we're doing this now type of thing. Um, a real, real sense of urgency. And so I kind of wonder if this, ur yeah, because you see this, I've got emergency with this, so, there, you know, maybe that is actual urgency. Um, and maybe that urgency is actually you needing to come down into your heart um, to transform, to transmute these emotions, right? Um, I love this. Transmuting the emotions and playing with them, Taurus. You know, sending your emotions to the highest source of light, the transmutation, and asking for them to be brought back to you as, I don't know, you know, for example, you could be feeling heartache, and you ask for that, that, that emotion to be taken to the highest source of light for transmutation, and be brought to, back to you as love, or brought back to you as fun, or brought back to you, you know, like, have fun with it, play around with it, transmute, right? 
See what it is you can vibrate. See what it is that you can attract into your life by emitting different vibrations. It could be joy. It could be it could be love. It could be excitement. Anything that you can think of, play around with it, okay? And just see the change and the difference in your life, okay? Um, yeah, do that. Illuminate the shadow. Focus on a solution. Yeah, see again, this is this vibration thing here. Let's see. There's this owl, what looks like this owl in here. And there's also this eagle here. There's this real powerful energy, which your vibration is. You know, you hear people say, you know, um, actions speak louder than words. I honestly, personally believe that vibration speaks louder than anything and realistically this is what the universe does respond to because the universe is a vibration energy is vibration you know the 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 isness the stillness is a vibration There's all these eyes here that I'm noticing. So it is really about, you know, this is like that shadow self, right? Shedding light on the shadow part of ourselves that we um, we do not want to be seen. Um, but interestingly enough, I also, for some reason, Aries, feel like, because I'm just seeing someone walking through the shadows on the earth, walking through the dark parts on the earth, really looking at maybe the darkness on the earth to shed some light on it, you know? Um, even if it is just you seeing that, it's almost like that's what, that's all that needs to happen because if, say, a million people saw that one part of the darkness on the earth, then the light has been shed on it, you know? And honestly, as a light worker, I have to say, that I always had this thing of like, oh, I don't want to go near um, any low vibrational thing. I don't want to go near any any um, darkness, anything encompassing the darkness. I don't want to do that. Like, I, that's not a match for my energy. But that was toxic. In my mind, in my view, that was toxic. Because what was happening was all I wanted to do was stand in the light and be in the light. And that was it. But as a light worker here, the idea is to dissolve the darkness and to transmute the darkness. So how are we meant to do that if we're forever standing in the light and not walking towards the darkness? That's not to say that you put yourself in, you know, purposely in a dangerous situation or you make, you know, choices that aren't very good for you. But it's it's walking away from... You know, she's headed towards the Ten of Cups, right? So maybe it's walking away from this idealized life to go and seek what it is, how we can be of help in the world. You know, Taurus, maybe it's about that. And, you know, she's got this, this um, bowl here, which would be her cup of fire on the water. And that's kind of lighting the way right we've got too many cards there oh, temperance here we go oh i love this i love this because as i as i was shuffling i was about to talk about it but then this popped up and this is like brought it to light <laughs> uh, pun intended she's headed towards this light over here right because this is I feel like this is actually her light, but she knows along that journey she's going to come across darkness. She, You know, this light is coming up for it to be shed onto the darkness, and then you have this temperance come up. He's holding the friggin' light, for goodness sakes. He is the light holder. And I feel like for you, Taurus, you are the light holder, right? You are the one who will be able to 
it's like this magician here mixing the two bringing the two together and really um transmuting the energies here yeah getting this balance man this is so cool anyway taurus love and light act with care um I feel like, Taurus, this is you acting with care for yourself, especially if this has been the case for you. But I'm just looking at these eyes here and see how these, this is, the mask is on here and the eyes aren't seeing. They're not seeing. So it's almost like there's something maybe that you're not seeing. It could even be people around you you may not have to walk far in order to find those who need help the one thing I want to say about that though is that not everyone wants help so be aware of that I wouldn't spend too much energy on people who don't necessarily want the help so Just make sure that whatever you're offering isn't from maybe a people-pleasing place, if you like. Four of Swords. Wow. Check this out. Wow. We've got that heart in there and it's like it's a ball of wool. And it's, it's, it's tied together, these swords, which are, okay, so yeah, see, this is related to this here. So there's been sort of this damage done, okay, to you, um, where there's been this hurt caused, and it's like, kind of like, taking refuge in this nest to allow the healing to take place so maybe this act with care is you making sure that you're not acting too soon um, maybe there are people who want to pull you out of the nest um, and you're not quite ready you know to really um, to really make sure that you are, sorry, everything's all over the shop here, to really make sure that you are rejuvenating as much as you possibly can. Um, yeah. And, and, and I feel like with this magician card here, to make sure that those emotions are being, are being transmuted, right? Because, you know, Taurus, for some of you, you've been through the wars. You've really been through it big time. And um, you deserve to be protected. Um, sometimes we have to protect ourselves. Interesting. Um, the tower here. Wow. Sorry. I get so engrossed. The tower. See how this lightning here is hitting this plant? Or well, this, yeah, plant. And you would expect that to set that on fire, right? And the butterflies here are the ones that look like they're on fire. I mean, I know what the tower represents, but there's some other specific meaning here. It's like your transformation. It's, it's as though maybe either yourself or other people around you, or even one person in particular, does not want a transformation to take place for you. 
maybe this is where you had to come in here and, and have this recovery time, you know, because of this tower moment. It's like taking your time, like building up, taking your time to build something up and then bam, in a split second, it's all destroyed and you have to start over because see, the nest is in the, the tree here. The nest is in the tree. And I kind of wonder if the nest has fallen out of the tree, but you're still in the nest. Or maybe you found the nest after it landed and you hopped in the nest. Anyway, we've got this last card here. Guardian, guard your energy. So yeah, making sure that you create a white light around yourself or whatever colour you feel called to Taurus. Place around yourself this bubble of light, okay, to guard your energy. We've got the three of cups here. Um, and this could be, we've got half the deck there. Um, this could be calling on your friends to come and help you, you know, to, to, to have them help rise you up. You know, to have the support that you need rather than sitting alone, right? Rather than waiting, go and seek the support that you need by people that you trust. Because look at this light here. Look at these people looking at the stars here, right? Love this. I love this. Okay, sorry. Getting engrossed again. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is you needing to be aware of um, not just what you want to create, but what what legacy what legacy you want to leave behind. Because through this growing Taurus, through this creating, it's it's like you're 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 paving paving this path and and it's as though you don't quite realize that that's taking place here but in fact you are okay so it's maybe being a little bit more conscious of and, and maybe it would be helpful for you Taurus to see the path that you have paved to just take a moment to turn around and say oh wow this is where I've come from and this is where I am now. You know, to, um, yeah, to be aware of that. The other thing I do want to say for some of you, especially with the Five of Pentacles here, is just be mindful with your money, okay? Because to me, it looks like he's walking along here and all this is dro dropping out of his backpack where he held it and he doesn't realize that that's happening. And this one here is like this feeling of loss. So I would just be mindful. Maybe it's even a matter of just being mindful of your spending and not overspending everything in moderation, you know. Um, yeah, that's just something that popped in. Anyhow, let's get on to the most exciting part. <laughs> okay, so. Righty, let's have a look here. Sorry, let me just give them another shuffle. Taurus. Okay, let's. Keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Yes. See? Here they are here. You're not alone. Right? You're not alone. Oh, I love this. Like, there's so many cards here that are like, you know, traveling alone, lying on the nest alone. You know, like, 
everything except for this one. You know, like, this is super, super cool. Anyway, I've got my computer here because I had to type them out because the writing is pretty small. And so I typed them out just so I could see it a bit clearer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the meaning of the card. Okay, here we are here, Keepers of the Earth. And then I'm going to hold the card up and um, and we're going to do the activation. Are you excited, Taurus? I am. Okay, let's go. Keepers of the Earth, you are so supported. You do not stand alone. You have a, magnif a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the Earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have already done already and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them. They Oh, sorry, to devote your life to protecting the earth in your unique way. And you are an earth sign too, Taurus, right? So this is pretty, like, applicable. Okay, anyway, sorry, carry on. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of financial abundance, acts of service from strangers or people flocking to help you and your work. The only thing that is stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for the work that you are doing. You do not need to do it alone. Call upon the keepers of the earth to help you and your mission. Open your heart and your mind to receiving more that, than you ever thought was possible. What kind of support do you need? Call it in right away. Okay, so Taurus, so here's now what we are going to do. So normally like you would hold the hand on uh, the card on your heart and say these words, right? But obviously you haven't got the card with you. So I'm going to hold the card up here and just focus on it, okay? And I'm going to read a few words at a time and leave time for you to say them out loud, okay? There is um, there is a part where we can you can include any other requests. So honestly, Taurus, come back and do this as many times as you need um, with different requests that you might have. Okay, so let's get going. So Place your left hand on your heart and say out loud, I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life and my work. And I call it in now. You can include any other specific requests right now. Now, Taurus, say thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, Taurus. Okay, so um, Taurus, like I say, come back and do this every day if you need to over the next couple of weeks and you can do it for the rest of your life if you so want to. Um, the other thing is that it, um, each day there will be new ones coming out. It might be the same as what you've got here. It might be a different one. If you feel called to go and do other ones, do it. Okay, try not to put too much weight on the uh, star sign. Um, yeah, just do what you feel called to do. Okay, Taurus, 
take care of your beautiful selves and please let me know how it goes um and also you know because i'm really invested in your growth here like this is why i'm doing this okay so as that exchange of energy subscribe and share and like and um, other people are going to need these activations as well so let's help them okay taurus take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye